Um, so who here has dined at a nice Italian restaurant and had the server walk up with a bottle of wine um, and make a wine offer? Well, if you haven't, it usually goes a little something like this. Um, they'll walk up to your table with the wine and they'll say, this is our house, red wine. It's a medium body, smooth and fruity wine, similar to a Pinot Noir, and it's very popular amongst our guests. Um, working at the Olive Garden, I had to do this like 10 times a day. So um, I learned a lot about the wines. Um, and all that terminology may be confusing to some of you who don't know very much about the wines, but today um, I will clarify the difference between body and taste. Um, I'll describe the three main white wines, the three main red wines, um, and the health, some of the health benefits. Okay. So, just, um, did you ever watch people swirl a glass of wine and kind of wonder what they were doing? Um, well, they're trying to distinguish the body. Now, I'm going to use an example of milk because I can actually bring in different types of wines today. Um, so with the milk, um, this is 2%, and when you swirl it around, you see it go on the sides, um, and then it, it drips down kind of um, quickly um, and falls off the glass. However, with the cream, um, it kind of sticks to the sides. Well, the 2% would be representing a light-bodied wine, so it goes off the sides quickly, and then this would be more of a full-bodied wine. Um, so that's what everybody's doing when they're swirling the glasses. Um, and then there's usually some wines that are kind of in between the full and light body. Um, there's also two categories of aftertaste. Um, there's a sweet, um, which will make your mouth water kind of slightly after you taste the wine. Um, and producing the sweet taste can be done in a number of ways. The most popular, though, is um, harvesting the grapes late. So um, the more mature the grapes are, the more sweet the taste will be. Um, and there will also be a may also be a dry aftertaste. Um, it'll be a little bitter, causing maybe a kind of cotton mouth. Um, and things like acidity, tannin, and alcohol can change the perception of dry or sweetness. Um, now, there are many types of white wines. Um, but today, I will discuss the top three that you'll usually find on um, restaurant menus. Um, the first is a Riesling, um, and it's a light-bodied wine, so when you swirl it around, um, it'll come off the glass easier. Um, it has a slightly sweet, actually drinking it, it has a slightly sweet flavor, um, and it has the highest level of acidity, so those of you who get heartburn easily may want to avoid this wine. Um, according to Wine Guides Online, um, <coughs> light body wines pair better with um, light foods such as chicken or vegetables, um, and full body wines pair well with heartier, more flavorful dishes. Um, the second wine, the white wine, is a Pinot Grigio, um, which is a medium bodied wine um, and kind of has between a sweet and dry aftertaste. Um, when you're actually drinking it, it'll have a light and fruity flavor. Um, and it's one of the few wines that actually pairs well with seafood. So um, if you're going to order a Pinot Grigio, you might want to order a shrimp or salmon to go with it. Um, and this is one of, also one of the wines that you don't want to drink when it's aged. So kind of get it when it's young. You don't let it sit in your fridge for a long period of time. Um, Chardonnay is the most popular white wine. Um, it's a full body, very dry wine. Um, when you're drinking it, it'll have a smooth and fruity flavor. Um, it's really popular because um, the grapes that they use to make it um, adapt to their environment very well, so it can be grown just about anywhere. Um, there's also many types of red wines, but today, again, I'll discuss the top main three that you'll usually find on the restaurant menu. Um, the Pinot Noir uh, is a light body wine with a sweet aftertaste. Um, when you're drinking it, it will usually taste smooth and fruity. Um, however, the grapes they use to make it uh, have the toughest growing conditions. So this wine is generally produced in smaller quantities um, and may cost a little bit more. Um, the second is the Merlot. It's a medium bodied wine with an aftertaste that's kind of in between sweet and dry. Um, when you're actually drinking it, it has soft berry flavors. Um, and although all these wines are made out of grapes, this is one of the few in the world that actually smells like grapes. And the rest will smell like other fruits. Um, the third one is Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, it's a full body wine with a dry aftertaste. Um, it has a rich and robust flavors when you're actually drinking it. Um, and according to Stacy Slinker from about.com, um, it's often referred to as the king of red wine because it is the most sought after and popular red wine. Um, 
Now that you know a little bit about the wines, um, I'll tell you about the health benefits. White wine doesn't really have very many health benefits, except maybe if you drink a glass after a hard day of work, it'll calm you down. Or if you're stressed out about your kids, you might want to have a glass after you put them to bed. Um, but a moderate amount of red wine, one glass a day for women and one to two glasses a day for men, um, can significantly um, reduce coronary heart disease uh, because it gets rid of the bad cholesterol. Uh, it boosts the good cholesterol, um, which in turn reduces blood clotting. <coughs> It maintains the um, immune system. Uh, red wines are filled with antioxidants, and antioxidants are beneficial for good health and um, prevention of illnesses. And also, wine can relieve stress. Um, the alcohol in it um, has a calming influence, so you know, after a hard day's work, have a glass of wine and you'll relax. Um, and it's usually accompanied by dinner, you know, so it helps. That always helps the body relax and unwind. Um, in closing, I've given you an idea about the body and taste, about the um, three main white wines and the three main red wines, um, some of the foods that might pair well with them. I've also gone over the health benefits of having one to two glasses a day, and I've hope, I hope I've sent you all with a, off with a little more knowledge, so the next time you're in a restaurant and the waiter comes up with a bottle of wine, you'll kind of know what they're talking about.